Hello and welcome back to Phil's Corner and welcome to a video where I'll be taking a look at the shirts that I recently received from Foot Fanatics and Foot Fanatics, a long time supporter of the channel, are sponsoring today's video. This is the care package they sent me. We've got two shirts and a leisure wear shirt to go through so I'm excited to show you guys. I thought I'd do a video uh, as something a bit different. Now I've got this new format, this new unboxing format. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to do that for these shirts. And of course, I'll talk a bit more about Foot Fanatics for those who maybe don't know uh, about them because I really am a big fan of them. Uh, as I say, many long time viewers will know a bit about them. And I think no matter what kind of collector you are, they offer something really exciting. As we get started, I'll remind you to subscribe to the channel if you've not already. That's a free, simple way you can support the growth of Phil's Corner. So please do subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and leave a comment as well. Maybe tell me what kind of shirts you're looking out for uh, this year. Maybe what Brazilian shirts you're looking out for. And indeed, I do want to say a thank you to Foot Fanatics for sponsoring today's video. Guys, Foot Fanatics is a great place to go for football shirts. It's as simple as that. If you're looking particularly for Brazilian club shirts, they're excellent. They've got a wide range. Any of the new shirts that come out, you can get them. Uh, with sponsors, without sponsors, with patches, without patches, all the variations, the kind of stuff which doesn't make it typically to the UK market. Delivery times and fees are very reasonable and they get even better when you use my discount code FILL10. So use the code FILL10 and if there isn't another promotion running, you'll get 10% off. Again, many of you will know the deal. Many of you would have shopped with Foot Fanatics before. They have been one of the biggest supporters of Phil's Corner. So thank you to Foot Fanatics. We'll obviously talk more about them as we go through these shirts, but let's get to it. Let's start with this leisure wear shirt. Now, I wanted to start with this because this is the kind of thing which often people don't think about when they think about collecting shirts. Obviously, this isn't a matte shirt or anything like that, but I absolutely love these kind of leisure wear shirts. I think they're really wearable. Anytime you can get an official leisure wear shirt like this, which has obviously been made by Umbro for Gremio, I think they're really good. And again, they're quite timeless. This isn't going to go out of date. I love the retro feel with this old school Umbro logo and indeed in the second diamond here, the Gremio Crest, which is one of my favourite crests in Brazil. There's also some really nice details on the back. I'll flip this over and you can see, well, this actually comes from the 2018 season. So this is the kind of stuff which you can get for really, really good prices. Again, Foot Fanatics is not just new stuff, they've got stuff from previous seasons and often stuff like this is very, very cheap. It's the kind of stuff which you can just add to your basket. Uh, and it makes for a great gift for someone. Dare I mention Christmas at this time, but you know, you're looking for a Christmas gift or something like that. But yeah, these kind of t-shirts, they're all over Foot Fanatics and they look absolutely great. I like this one, got a soft spot for Gremio. So that's a pretty solid start there. But now we come to Red Bull Bragantino. And there's a lot I want to say about this kit. Should we start with New Balance? Because I've been talking a lot about New Balance this year. In many of my videos, particularly in episodes of The Hot Wall, my regular Thursday stream that I do where I rank new shirts, I've been talking so much about New Balance. And guys, I have to say, looking at this shirt in person, I'm so impressed. This is actually my first New Balance shirt uh, from the 2022-23 season. So it's great to see a New Balance kit in person for this year. Getting to see things like in this detail, I never noticed that you actually had uh, the typical New Balance uh, brand mark where they've got the uh, the lines which are based on the, the end of the crest. Uh, I don't know what they call that, but uh, you can see they're very subtly in this uh, cuff detail, which again has been shared across a number of teams, but that looks so nice in person. New Balance logo looks excellent. I like the feel of that slightly raised, which adds a lot of quality. And of course, like any good Red Bull team, we've got the Red Bull logo in all its glory here. Of course, everyone knows Red Bull by now, and one or two collectors will have a Leipzig shirt, maybe a Salzburg shirt. But I don't know many that have a Bragantino shirt, so this is the kind of stuff which you can get, again, from Foot Fanatics. This makes for a really interesting uh, piece to a collection. Perhaps you have a little sub-collection of Red Bull shirts. From a design perspective, of course, it largely hinges on your opinion of the whole Red Bull uh, franchise system and stuff like that. But I do think this is a really good shirt, a really good Red Bull shirt. If we were to compare this to other uh, teams in the Red Bull stable, I think this is definitely one of the better ones. This pattern with the kind of distressed gray look in the base looks good. I think it's just about subtle enough. And if we flip it over the back, though it is a plain back, and I typically like to see a pattern continue, we've got the Red Bull sponsor there. 
And I do think in many ways, again, this would be a really nice piece if you own maybe a, a Leipzig shirt or maybe uh, a New York Red Bull shirt or something like that, to have the kind of New Balance take on the whole Red Bull side of things would be really interesting. But yeah, I think, again, New Balance, really strong this year. Any of the shirts you can pick up, I think will be worth it. I do think they, uh, they are putting out some of their best work ever uh, this season. And yeah, really nice piece. Not the typical shirt you will see, but we'll finish very strongly now with this absolutely stunning Fluminense shirt. Now, I really wanted to focus particularly on this one for several reasons. Let's just start by talking about Ombro because I have banged the Ombro drum pretty much since I started this channel. One of my first episodes was talking about Ombro. And at the time, Ombro in Brazil were particularly special. And it is one of those sure things in football shirts. Death, taxes, and Umbro working wonders in Brazil. It really is uh, something you can bank on each and every season. This shirt is absolutely stunning, both from a design perspective and a quality perspective. I will kind of address the elephant in the room. That sponsor isn't great, uh, even though the color uh, of the maroon here does match uh, the Fluminense colors. It's unfortunate, like a lot of teams in world football, we just don't have a very aesthetically pleasing sponsor. But if we can look past that, I think this is one of the better shirts of the year. The best thing for me, actually, is just this pattern in the body. I absolutely love the way it's been achieved. It's slightly embossed, uh, so you've got a really nice texture, a really nice feel to the shirt. And I think this kind of pattern adds so much quality. You see patterns uh, nowadays, and sometimes they look really interesting, really good, but they don't have that kind of uh, level of quality in terms of the execution. And that's not to say you can't have a good sublimated shirt, but when it is embossed like this, or maybe it's a jacquard, a pattern within the actual fabric of the shirt, you get it in person and it just looks great. And even on a plain shirt, a pattern like this just takes it to another level. And this is what I really like. I think a lot of teams and brands could do well to focus more on patterns like this. It's a really nice way to take what would otherwise be quite a plain design uh, into something quite beautiful. Other great details here, which is very Umbro really, uh, this jock dag detail, I talk about this again so much where shirts don't have this kind of stuff. Looks really good. This looks to be celebrating 120 years, um, so that's great, really nice design. And indeed, like any good Fluminense shirt, you've got their crest, which is such a wonderful design. In many ways, this is kind of an old school crest with those interlocking letters. Many teams in Brazil have a similar style and it is a wonderful look. I really hope we don't see the death of these kinds of designs as the modern rebrand train rolls on. Nice big umbrella logo. It does actually look quite large and I like that. And this shirt gets better guys, because if I turn this over, you can see we've got a special name set uh, for Fred, the legendary Brazilian striker, Fred. And not only does this name set look wonderful, it's a really nice quality. And I'm assuming that's Fred's signature, I don't know. But I love this name set, it looks good. You can see, even though we've got a sponsor within the number, that's quite a kind of quintessentially Brazilian thing. I actually don't mind that. And it looks good again uh, on the text here. Very subtle uh, drop shadow, a very subtle 3D effect on the text. Looking really nice. And there's more on the back of the collar. Really nice to see uh, that year detail. Uh, again, the 120 years being celebrated here as part of the fabric. This isn't just a print. It's actually stitched in, which is just those things which add quality. You can even turn the collar over inside out and see that there. So really nice collar. I mean, we've seen a lot of collars. It's been kind of a bit of a, a trend, if you like, or a bit of a theme across a number of brands, particularly Adidas. I think this is a particularly good collar though. And again, even though we've seen many of them, I think on some shirts, it particularly adds a lot. This is definitely one of those. A relatively plain body, albeit with the embossed pattern. The collar in a nice contrasting maroon and green and the colors of Fluminense. One thing I absolutely love as well is how those colors are replicated in the cuffs. These are just really good design decisions. This is just what Ombro are about. They are not just a flash in the pan when it comes to their Brazilian kits. Each and every year, they produce really good stuff. And this is undoubtedly one of my favorite shirts that I've added to my collection this year, even though the sponsor, the sponsor does hold it back from being top, top tier. Uh, but this is a you know a nine out of ten in my eyes. 
Uh, it is close to perfection. I really do think this is stunning. This Fluminense shirt is the kind of stuff you can get on Foot Fanatics. Don't forget the discount code FIL10 to get 10% off. And there's going to be more guys in the coming months. There's going to be more new Brazilian shirts landing on my door, which I'll be sharing with you, talking through uh, the designs, showcasing those details which you maybe can't see from the initial release pictures. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Foot Fanatics for sponsoring this one. And I look forward to seeing you at a future video or live stream. Take care and all the best. Thank you.